All right, today we have a new 24 volt inverter from Joompa. Let's open it up. Okay, we have some cables, two gauge, 105 degrees Celsius temperature wire. Uh, we have a Cat5 cable, our user's manual. Uh, we have remote, and here's the inverter. All right, so let's take a look at their specs here. Uh, this is the 2080Ti model, so it's a 2080 watt inverter. It has a surge power of 6,000 watts, or actually it says greater than 6,000 watts uh, for 300 milliseconds. And it says it has an adjustable uh, voltage output, so it looks like it can do anywhere from 100 volts, 110 to 120 volts AC output. Let's take a look on the side panel here. So we've got a switch, we've got, looks like a GFCI outlet right here, and then we've got our, it has screw terminals right there for hardwiring the AC output. Uh, there's our voltage selection switch, we got a USB, and then we got our remote control port right there. And on the back side we got our two fans here, and then we got our positive and negative terminal. Alright, so I say let's hook this guy up and test it out. Alright, so I've got it wired up to my battery so we can do some testing here. And I use their cables. Like I said, this is, it says 2 gauge, 105 degrees Celsius. It's got some heft to it, and I did scratch the terminal to see if, if it was copper, and inside there, the, the cable looks copper. So it, it appears to be copper, and it, it has the weight like it's copper. Um, so this is kind of one of the nicer sets of cables I've seen come with an inverter. So we'll go ahead and use those and see how they work. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There we go. Ran the fans briefly. So let's go ahead, actually let's go ahead and test the idle current consumption. All right, so I got the battery pulled up and, okay, so we've got six watts. Yeah, so six watts, so it's kind of cycling. Let's check with the clamp here. There we go. So the clamp is telling us 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26. So around, around 0.25 amps. And our current voltage is 26.7. So 26.7 times 0.25, yeah, so about 6.675 watts. That's pretty good. <laughs> so the idle consumption is pretty nice on this for a 2,080 uh, watt inverter. Let's go ahead and use the oscilloscope and we'll check the waveform. All right, and look at that, we do have a pure sine wave. All right, so I'm gonna plug in this extension cord. At the other end of this is my air conditioner and we'll run that as a load. Let's turn this guy on. And we are on high. And the battery app is telling us we are pulling out 540, 560 watts. We do have our fans on at the moment. So I'm going to let this run for a bit and then I'll come back and check it. All right, so we've been running for a little while. Uh, we're currently pulling out 690 watts. And I've hooked up my meter here, my fluke, to this 
AC screw terminals here so we could check the voltage. And uh, it comes default at 110 volts AC. But we can flip this switch. There we go. And that moves it up to 120 volts AC. And we look here, we're, we're still pulling out 680 watts. All right, well, let's put some more load on it. Let's hook up this heater and see if we can load this thing down some more. All right, check it out. We're now pulling 1,850 or 800, yeah, about 1,859 watts. Get that heater running in here. Our voltage. Holding pretty good, 119.5. Unit feels cool. Even the air coming out the back feels cool. The wires feel cool. We can pull up our thermal camera here. And uh, I don't see any huge hot spots. The AC cable's coming out here. <laughs> that one's showing a little warmth. Yeah, a little, little warmth coming out of the fan vents. Showing about a max of 102 Fahrenheit. Cable's looking good. Showing a max of 91. And we're still pulling 1850 watts. Uh, I'll just let this run for a bit and see how that works. I'll be back. All right, she's still running. And that has put out some heat. 119.7 volts. Unit still feels pretty cool to the touch. Wires are still cool. Here's our battery. Showing that we're pulling 1,889 watts. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off because this heater's killing me. All right, so I hooked up the little display here and uh, this thing's really solid. I mean, it's all metal. A lot of times these are plastic, but this thing is pretty good quality. And uh, the inverter's all metal as well. And I went ahead and hooked up my induction cooktop here because this allowed me to kind of control uh, the power draw a little bit better and I also still have my air conditioner hooked up So let's go ahead and turn on the cooktop Here we go So we're pulling 1690 on the watts there And coming out of the battery we're showing 18 75 so this is coming out of the inverter the AC side and this is the DC side I think I'm going to turn the cooktop down just a little bit there we go now I'm going to turn the air conditioner on Okay, so the air conditioner is ramping up. We're starting to increase the wattage here. And we're doing 19.55 on the watts. 1960. So we're pushing that 2080 watt limit. Let's see if I can go up on the cooktop 
There we go. We're, oh, we're over the wattage limit. So we're 2187. So let's go back down. There we go. Yeah, so we went over and the inverter started complaining, which is good. So we're right at it. We're at 1995. Adjusted the air conditioner down a little. Let's see if we can. All right, now let me try to go up one on the induction cooktop. There's 2059, 2060. 2070, yeah, so we hit that. That's about as close as I think I can get it. 2070 to that 2080 watt limit. All right, and our, our little kettle over here is steaming. <laughs> so we boiled that water. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And just to make things clear, guys, this is only a test. If you install this unit, you have to put a fuse or a breaker on the cable to the, the inverter, okay? So just keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, so I think what I want to do now is I want to disconnect all this and I want to open this guy up. All right, so I've got all these screws removed. Let's pop the top here. Okay, so somewhere I've got another screw holding. Is it underneath here? Ah, look at there. There's another one underneath this label. That's a smaller one. And there'll be one over here, I'm sure. There we go. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Nice metal cover there. All right, we are in. Let's get a closer look here. So we got a nice uh, <laughs> black PCB board. Let's see, we've got a row of fuses here. It looks real clean inside this inverter. There's not a whole lot of wire clutter. Actually, the wiring is quite minimal. And I like how they've got these. Uh, kind of like bus bars that come from the terminals. So the board kind of has this bus bar looking piece that goes over to the terminal. And uh, the same over here for the positive side. A lot of times on inverters, you'll see a bundle of wiring coming from these terminals that goes to the board. Uh, so I like the clean look of this here. Yeah. You know, they took the extra time to heat shrink these terminals. Very, very good build quality from what I can see here. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up the video. Let me know what you think about this inverter down there in the comments. As always, I'll leave links down in the description. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.